just into the time lapse, there's a few objects that appear. We're going to freeze it for you so you can get a good look at it. Five objects appear flying alongside each other with the same distance in between them. You should know by now that space is a pretty damn frightening place. I mean, at any second, we could just be wiped out by a freaking asteroid. We're just a little tiny blob of nothing in a huge universe. Over the years, NASA has made some pretty terrifying discoveries in space that they have tried to hide from us. So today, let's look at this and more. Starting off this countdown, we have these space monkeys. If you're an animal lover, then this one is gonna break your heart. Before sending humans into space, animals were launched into space to to see how space travel would affect them. They typically chose primates for their close relation to humans. Obviously, looking back at that, that is hella messed up. A number of monkeys sadly passed away from these tests. I mean, the first monkey sent into space died from suffocation. There's photos of him being prepped and getting ready for space, and now looking at those photos, it's just hella disturbing. So now NASA has removed all the photos they have of their test subjects. They don't want people finding out their controversial past. Of course, you can still find these photos online today, but NASA still has tried to cover it up. In our ninth spot, we have the aliens. It seems like NASA and Area 51 might be hiding aliens. What's new? The photo I'm about to share with you is a leaked photo of aliens hidden in Area 51. The photo was taken in the 1980s and years later, someone leaked it online. I don't know about you, but that looks exactly like a space alien to me and it looks like they're running some sort of tests on them or something. Now, of course, people think that this photo is fake. Go ahead, believe whatever. Just know that there are tons of individuals that believe it to be real. Plus, it's never been debunked. Take what you want for that. <laughs> Coming in at number eight, we have the second sun. According to astronomer Paul Cox, there is a second sun in our solar system, and NASA is keeping it a secret. Why would they do that? I don't know, because they can. So Paul discovered this after using his telescope to stare at the planets. He actually live streamed him doing this, and while doing so, he pointed to a black dot, which was Mercury. He said that this was the location of the second sun. He said, and I quote, you may be asking yourself, what is that large round thing to the right of the sun? Well, that's our second sun. I don't know if you knew that we had a second sun, but there it is. It is normally hidden from view. NASA and other organizations usually hide that stuff away from us. Now, now, I don't know why NASA would hide this from us, but apparently they are, and there's a second sun out there. In our seventh spot, we have the SpaceX explosion. Back in 2020, a NASA worker leaked video and photographic evidence of a SpaceX explosion. NASA was furious when they found out and sent out a memo to all workers saying that they would be fired if they publicly shared photos and videos from the Space Center again. And then someone leaked that memo. Anyways, NASA was all like, nah, nothing happened, nothing exploded. Then the video surfaced and they're like, oh snap, we're caught. It started when people saw smoke coming over the space coast and were like, what's going on over there? And NASA failed to properly explain. But like I said, things got leaked and they were exposed. In our sixth spot, we have Planet X. So astronomer Paul Cox says that NASA has proof of Planet X. It's a broken planet that is behind the sun that he believes will eventually crash into Earth and wipe out all of humanity. But obviously, NASA doesn't want anyone to know this, which is why they're hiding it from all of us. And I genuinely hope that this isn't true and that Paul's lying and that he knows nothing because that's terrifying. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with the trees on Mars. A weird shot taken of Mars revealed what looked like dark trees rising from the surface. Like it straight up looks like trees and shrubs are growing there, which we know isn't possible. So then, what is it? Well, NASA says that it's just an optical illusion and it's not actually trees. But other people think that NASA is trying to already grow things on Mars or that this is part of an alien structure. Who knows, but NASA's being hella sketchy with this photo. In our fourth spot, we have the lady on Mars. In 2007, people went nuts when the Spirit Rover snapped this eerie photo on the planet. It literally looks like a human figure perched on a rock. Now NASA immediately denied this and said that, you know, it's just a rock. But that didn't stop UFO enthusiasts. They believe that this rock is actually a female figure made by aliens, or that it is an alien. Like, look at that. How can that be a rock? Like, there's fully arms and clothing on it. I'm sorry, I don't believe it. Nice try, NASA. Better luck next time. That's a woman. In our third spot, we have these space guests. 
A couple of years ago, a Russian cosmonaut aboard the International Space Station noticed three unusual lights fly by their craft. Thankfully, they got it on film. The cosmonaut believes that what he saw and captured was indeed a UFO flying by. He said, and I quote, five objects appear flying alongside with the same distance. What do you think those are? Meteors, satellites, or dot dot dot? The lights are in a straight line and apparently were hanging around that area for almost a minute before disappearing. He has no explanation for it besides it being a UFO spacecraft. In our second spot, we have the alien statue. In 2019, NASA accidentally leaked some photos that we shouldn't have been able to see. So they released photos taken by their Mars robot opportunity. In one of the shots, someone pointed out that there appears to be a dark object near one of Mars's craters. It looks like this object has a long arm, a bulky chest, and two leg fragments. One person said, and I quote, it looks like an actual statue. There seems to be so many anomalies stones on Mars that at some point one must admit that sometimes a rock is an ancient artifact. Whereas others believe that this is an alien's corpse that is decomposing. But what do you think? It certainly looks like an alien to me. And in our number one spot today we have the alien city. So there's a theory out there that aliens do actually live on the moon. However, they inhabit the dark side of the moon, aka the side of the moon facing away from us that we can't see. Well, a man named Scott Waring found physical evidence to prove this. He obtained satellite images from the dark side of the moon and saw that the moon has structures that cast shadows. Take a look for yourself. If you zoom into the photos, you can see a bunch of weird objects on the moon's surface. That's not the normal texture of the moon. Those look like structures. So he believes that aliens are for sure on the moon and that NASA has been covering it up for years. Not only that, but the images that NASA chose to share with the public had been altered so that the objects were edited out. And then NASA added fake craters in that location. Why would they do that, huh? That's suspicious. Yeah, that's hella sus. All right guys, that's all for today's video. Uh, let's move on to our comment shout out portion. I'll be shouting out comments from the video, top 10 deadliest substances from space you shouldn't touch. How fitting, two space videos, wow. Passion's Quiet Rage commented, video idea, top 10 reasons NASA can make up their mind on the status of Pluto. Seriously, why do they keep changing their minds on whether it's a planet or not? I honestly don't know. When I was little, it was a planet, you know, and then all of a sudden years later, they're like, just kidding, it's too small. It's not a planet. Poor Pluto, man. It's confused. Raving Josh commented, Hey Lindsay, this was great and I love what you did with your hair. It is great and really suits you. You have a great style. Thank you so much, Josh, because there was a mean comment on the other video and I'm not gonna say it, but they said something about me being ugly and about my hair being ugly. So screw you. Guys, we're all people. Can you please just be nice? Like I read the comments. I see it. Don't diss me. Would you say that to your mom? No. So why are you saying it's me? Anyways, I'm not your mom, but still you understand. Caleb Osbrin commented, can we have more space videos, please? Pretty please, LOL. Uh, if you want to see part two, then you gotta let me know in the comments below and smash that like button, guys. Do it. Even if you don't want to see more space videos, just smash it. But you can let us know in the comments below what topics you want to see us cover. Maybe we'll cover it. All right, guys, that's all the comments I'm shouting out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan. Don't know where this accent came from. <laughs> it was like British or something. Whatever. And I'll see you when I see you.